Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 45 of Mark chapter 6. And immediately Jesus had his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he himself dismissed the crowd. And after saying goodbye to them, he left for the mountain to pray. When it was evening, the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. Seeing them straining at the oars, for the wind was against them, at about the fourth watch of the night he came to them walking on the sea, and he intended to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought that it was a ghost, and they cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke with them and said to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them, and the wind stopped, and they were utterly astonished, for they had not gained any insight from the incident of the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. In yesterday's devotion, we saw what happened when the disciples encountered a storm on the sea. They'd experienced many miraculous moments in their time with the Lord, but when waves battered their boat, it was as if they'd forgotten who He was. Their minds couldn't recollect what they'd witnessed about His power and purposes. Even the appearance of Jesus walking on the water did not bring immediate relief. When trouble strikes, those of us who are believers today sometimes forget what we know to be true about the Lord. We struggle to recall past answers to prayer, God's faithfulness in earlier situations, and lessons learned in previous crises. Only the present seems real as our minds struggle with fears about the future and our troubled emotions prevent us from thinking clearly. Reading Scripture is the best way to remember biblical truths, but another helpful tool is a spiritual journal. It's a place for you to document your pilgrimage with the Lord and specific details of how He's worked in your personal life. This kind of written record can serve as a map to trace where you've been and how God has helped you along the way. Your current trial may be a new one, but you'll be encouraged to look back and see God's faithfulness and unchangeable nature over the years.